Hey, this is Jay. Happy Zer Day. Happy Friday. How in the world are you guys doing? Zer is the tower over here on this left-hand side. And as we're heading back here, just wanted to remind you that I reached my weekly nightfall video. That's where I do it with my son, Big E. And uh, also bring along some subscribers. So if you want to check that out, click on that link in the lot, bottom right and it'll actually open up in a new window. Or you can check out my video description. I've got some uh, videos down there and it's in there as well. But here is Zer. Let's hope he has something cool. All right, come on. Oh, all right. Oh, man. Sunbreakers, I see those right away. Those are probably my favorite ones up there. But we'll go through all these and I'll let you know whether or not I'd get them and uh, what they're useful for, in my opinion. Remember, this is all my opinion. But bathed in light, blessings of light, and weapons of light last longer. I like this more for PvE rather than PvP. I mean, it's obviously useful for PvE. I've seen some people run bubbles in PvP that just wreck people, so people that know how to use bubbles in PvP, uh, you're going to like this as well. But increased strength, increased intellect, hands-on, second thoughts, and invigoration. So if you're a PvE player, I'd pick it up. If you're a PvE player and you're really good with the bubble, then go ahead and pick it up as well. But alright, on to Kepri's Sting right here for the Hunter. And first up, we've got Touch of Venom, gain invisibility after crouching in place for a short time. That will you that will be useful for any subclass that you're using, not just blade dancers, but melee attacking an enemy from behind will, in, while invisible, delivers four times the damage. Melee attacks apply a lingering damage effect. So I like this again more for PVE than uh, PVP. Being able to go invisible, damage somebody for four times can take out a lot of people. But increased discipline, increased strength, switchblade, impact induction, and we've got hand cannon loader, and fusion rifle loader. So yeah, if you're a PvE player and you like running your gunslinger and want to go to invisible or something like that, you know, that's going to be, be coming in handy and that increased damage and the lingering effect. Uh, I like that as well. But probably, like I said, my favorite Sunbreakers Helium Cycle increases the duration of your solar grenades while gaining an additional solar grenade charge. Man, you, when you pair that with the uh, effect that it causes damage over time, man, these grenades become really good. And having two of them, I like that for both uh, PvE and PvP. Increased intellect, increased discipline, energy projection, impact induction. Uh, scout rifle loader, okay, and fusion rifle loader. I don't use too many fusion rifles, but definitely pick this up. Whether you're a PVE player or a PVP player, as long as you're going to run, you know, uh, your solar blaze subclass, this thing is going to come in handy. If you don't run those, obviously it's going to be pretty much useless for you. But here is the universal remote kinetic damage. We got smooth ballistics, soft ballistics, CQB ballistics, crowd control, of course. And then we've got uh, Hammer Force, improved range and accuracy. We've got Lightweight, plus two character agility. Snapshot, aiming this incredibly fast. And uh, Universal Remote, range and precision damage increases greatly while aiming down the sight. And a little tip is, if you're playing PvP or something like that, if you aim down sight and the person actually fills in your sight, that's pretty much going to be a one-shot kill. At least it used to be. I have not used this in year two. I actually just got this when I was doing a big Ingram opening video, and I haven't had a chance. So if you guys use this, let me know if I'm mistaken. But um, this is kind of one of those things that's fun to use but not the best exotic to use, if you know what I mean. So if you're looking for something fun, you want to complete, complete your collection, go ahead and pick this up. But uh, not the best thing to use. At least that's my experience with it, and I don't have any experience in year two. So fill, fill me in if I'm wrong. Um, Legacy engrams, though, these are chess pieces. Remember, if you buy this, these are going to be year one. You can't infuse them to year two. It's useful if you get a year one item because you can buy the year two version. That's about the only reason you want to pick those up. And we've got glass needles. This will actually let you reload the stat roll for your exotic pieces of armor. So it's nice to have a couple of these on hand in case you get a bad stat roll or something you want to change up. But three of coins, I'm gonna go ahead and pick some of these up. Remember, if you're going against an ultra or you're playing in a crucible match, you just pop one of these at any time before the match ends or before you kill the boss. Don't worry about it. You can pop it and go to orbit and come back to orbit and do whatever you want to do. It will use it once you actually complete that mission and you get a chance at getting exotic. Don't use more than one at a time though. Then we've got heavy ammo cakes. And let me know too, how often do you see those things actually drop for you? 
uh, when you're going up and using those three of coins because I'm seeing it about every six times but people in my uh, comments are saying that they only see it like once every 20 times sometimes or something like that which is just crazy uh, so I'm curious how often do you see an exotic drop from using a three of coin let me know that in the comment section but that is what Zer has to offer make sure you check out my video I just posted something uh, even if you're not a black ops 3 fan check out my video with my dad actually playing he is just hilarious when we play together um, and I'd love to know what you guys think about that so it's all live commentary right there but that is all I've got for you let me know what you have planned for this weekend I am finally finally gonna go see Captain America Civil War I'm really looking forward to that don't spoil it don't put anything in here for as far as spoilers uh, but I'm really looking forward to that and that's what I'm gonna be doing but let me know what you guys got going on uh, this is where I'm gonna end this video as always take care and God bless